All right, so today we are going to talk about how to elevate your story game on Facebook and Instagram uh, by using your Fujifilm X-Series camera or even GFX, you can go nuts. Uh, but you know, first, I might not even need it, but I'm gonna go get a coffee. All right, that's better. Um, this might calm me down. Okay, so how can you elevate your story game? You're gonna use your camera. So if you have from an X-T200 to an X-T3 to even a GFX, these cameras all can shoot video. So you're gonna pick that topic slash activity slash hobby, whatever you would have done a story about, because let's be honest, we all like a little bit of attention. Hi. <laughs> and in these days, uh, 2020, with this whole, thing around the world. We're kind of a little bit more apart from each other and we like to stay connected and then, you know, show our friends and family what we're doing and mostly via stories. So what we're going to do is create that, you know, stunningly impressive story. First, you're going to get your camera and then you're going to get yourself a cool little tripod or gorilla pod or whatever you have. Uh, anything that can hold your camera and then you can do this by yourself just grab your tripod table tripod grab a camera put it on there you go now when you're shooting you want to get your shots vertically because you know this is going to be seen on the phone uh, so it's going to be 9 by 16 and then you're going to set your camera to shoot at I would say uh, 60 frames per second if you want to do some cool stuff. Uh, you can set it to 4K if your camera can do it, your computer can handle it. Shooting in 4K will allow you to create digital zoom and panning. But you know, 1080 is going to be fine and it's going to be viewed on the phone anyways. So set yourself up to do whatever you'd like to film. In my case, I'm going to be sewing a face mask because, you know, this is the thing uh, nowadays. So I'm going to use my sewing machine and then I'm just going to make a story about that. So set your camera, shoot at 60 frames per second, and then you're going to want to get nice angles. And then the place where you're crafting or whatever might not be well sorted. Uh, but for that, we're going to use the zoom on our lens, or if you you have you know a variety of lenses use a longer focal length and then set the lens to the widest aperture so you can blur the back so we're gonna film every step of the way the important steps and try to get it really close so it's really interesting and in my case I'm gonna make uh, an edit that's just with sounds and no music so the sound is really important so I'm gonna be using a mic I wasn't prepared for this I'm gonna be using a mic like this just for a look, you know, better sound because, you know, people watching the story might be having headphones and it's gonna be nice to have good sound. This is the Fujifilm ST1 mic, uh, so that'll be good. So now you film all the steps of your crafting. To add a little bit of drama and coolness, get some B-rolls and I'm gonna get shots of myself really close, like I'm really concentrated on, on you know, sewing that piece really good. Now that this is all done, uh, we're gonna get to the editing part. So first in the editing software, we're gonna set our timeline to nine by 16. Now a tip, we filmed in 60 frames per second. Now we wanna set our timeline to 23.976, and then we're just gonna drop our footage. And if we want some slow motion, we're just gonna interpret that footage to 23.976 that will give us a half speed for our clip and then we can speed it up and then slow it down to create some nice effects. So I'm gonna make a really, you know, fast edit because stories are really short. So I'm just gonna get straight to every important points and where I can hear the sound to make that really, you know, dramatic effect. So really small cuts, really quick. So here we go making our edit and then we're going to export. You can just match the source and we're going to export it. Now to bring it onto your phone, what you can do is either use like a Dropbox or that will be linked to your phone. You can use a WeTransfer uh, any kind of way. If you are on a Mac, then you can just airdrop it, which is awesome. And then finally, we're just going to upload it to our Instagram story and that's going to be amazing. We're going to get a ton of reaction, tons of views, and then we're going to be happy.
So I hope you enjoyed this little video. And then until next time, you know, stay creative. <laughs>